Welcome back to Explain CV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Wednesday, March 29th, 2023. Now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. First, stretch your arms up and out as high and as far as you can and breathe in the fresh air. As if you've just come out of your cave and stepped out to feel the warmth of the spring sun. As you breathe out, you're going to growl and make bear claws with your hands. That was so calming. Now let's see what happened today in history with Hadassah. Patriots, in today's history on March 29th, 1848, Niagara Falls stopped flowing for 30 hours. Niagara Falls is a powerful waterfall that flows off the Niagara River. It is a big tourist attraction visited by many people from around the world. The flow stopping occurred due to an ice jam which happens when chunks of ice clump together to block the flow of the river. After the ice jam, the waters of Lake Erie broke through the blockage and resumed the flow of the Niagara Falls, allowing people to view the beautiful waterfall today. Hmm, I wonder if the waterfall stopped again or if it's going to. Now let's see what's for today's lunch with Jasmine. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's tasty lunch is cheeseburger, Italian sandwich, green beans, potato wedges, diced pears, and tomorrow's breakfast is French toast, syrup cup, graham crackers, fresh fruit, 100% apple juice, assorted cereal, whole grain donut ring, and your choice of milk or juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch or breakfast can change at any time, and to always bring a lunch card. Don't forget to let teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Mia. Thank you, Jasmine. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Students, the Patriot store is open every morning. Tomorrow morning is the 7th and 8th graders' turn to go. Don't forget your tickets. The spring testing season has begun. Tomorrow, 4th through 8th, will be wrapping up testing for this week by taking the math NWA. Make sure to get a good night's sleep before you test tomorrow. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Melanie. Thank you, Nia. Today's weather is expected to be 87 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Today seems like a great day to go outside and enjoy some fresh air. And other weather news, a girl from Washington Bay View State Park saved an octopus that got stuck on shore. She used a little bucket to help the octopus get back in the water. Later rescue came and used a big bucket with water to move the octopus back into the ocean. One of the reasons that an octopus might get stuck on shore is because they usually feed on shellfish and clams which tend to be on the shoreline. Even though we don't get to see how the story ends, I am hopeful that with all the helpers, the octopus made it back. Now let's go to Destiny for our birthdays. Thank you, Melanie. Today's birthday girls are Mackenzie Goni and Eliani Moto. Happy birthday! And yesterday, we missed a birthday, so a big happy birthday to Ashley Galindo. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your packs expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the schools of respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Stone, Miss Miracle, and Miss June. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? The correct answer was frostbite. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Can you guess who was left-handed? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. 
Everyone on IPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day. Thank you.